do you separate oil from freon during recovery now but by freon let's just say refrigerant okay do the freon is specific to uh like a brand name almost anyway separate them so we can't directly separate them during the recovery phase uh, so if if we have a machine that had a heavy oil migration or was oil having oil stack in the evaporator, which is a, a it's a fairly common thing we have to deal with. So in the event that that happened and the refrigerant you took out was very oil latent, you're going to go through the full recovery. When you're done with the recovery process, you you all of that oil is going to have mixed with the uh, refrigerant just in the process on its own, right? And that oil is going to settle at the uh, top of the refrigerant level. So the, the oil is going to sit up on top of the refrigerant. Once you get ready to go back to charging that refrigerant, you either have to pull vapor off, vaporize that, that entire charge back into the machine. So you, you won't charge liquid back, you would charge vapor back. If we are worried about oil contamination in each tank, what we've done is we'll recover down until we know we've got just a, f a few inches or maybe a foot left in the bottom of the cylinder and then pull that back off of vapor. That way, whatever oil may have, may have stacked on top, we can try to make sure that we get that vaporized or the refrigerant vaporized back out of it because the oil is going to stay in its oil liquid state, but we can flash the vapor out or the, the refrigerant out into a vapor and still get the refrigerant back out of that oil. And that, that is one way to separate those. So a clever thing I heard about recently, if you have an idea of what your charge should be, waiting until the last, say, 100 pounds or so, the last little bit of charge is left in the refrigerant, basically enough to that should fit into one single tank, and then intentionally recover that portion of the charge, of the liquid charge, into that tank. So instead of kind of just haphazardly doing it, which is probably more of what I have done more of, and then having to, to try to mitigate it later, instead trying to focus that oil latent refrigerant into a single cylinder, then you can charge your other cylinders accordingly um, and not have to worry about it as much. But that last cylinder that everything got stacked into that should be your oil a latent cylinder you're again you get back into the only way to get those two apart from each other is to do a is to flash that refrigerant out of there and it takes a long time it's a very slow process uh, tank heaters things like that will help speed that process up get that refrigerant to flash faster and get that out of there and what that does leave you with is all of that oil that that doesn't or this that stays in the cylinder it's got to be dealt with at in some way at that point so um, the way I've always done that kind of thing is we'll just tip the cylinder over when we're done, j drain that whatever is in there into a, a bucket or a container of some kind and dispose of it accordingly. So that is just one method or one way of trying to mitigate that. So if you have a system that you know is, say you've migrated and you've got a lot of oil in that refrigerant, that that's a an effective way of separating those that refrigerant from the oil. If you're not already in Chiller Academy, I'd really encourage you to go check it out. Just think about it, right? Uh, this is what I do full time. I, I've I've committed. I've stepped out of the field, committed my career to this going forward. This is what I've always wanted to do, and to be able to educate, help others, and grow, and help this industry take step steps forward. Um, so chilleracademy.com, like I'd, I'd love to be able to work with you over there. We've got a community page. Uh, every, all the lessons have a comment section. That's what I spend a lot of my day doing. If I'm not working on the lesson material itself, then I am in the comments and I'm trying to respond to those as fast as I can, uh, in addition to helping you through email and otherwise. So love to be able to work with you. For all of those that are in the academy, you all are doing some great work out there keep it up. I really appreciate the support and the feedback that you've given. 